Hello everybody, Andy here again. Recently I made a video about how I felt I'd changed because of my experiences here on YouTube and how I thought that had changed me for the better and maybe explore things that I've been wanting to do for maybe years and years and it's given me that opportunity to do so. But also in that video I sort of touched on other things that I've done as well in my, in my life and it got me thinking about why those things happened as well. Um, I mentioned before about things like the Beatles Day and my involvement with Hastings Rock, the radio station, and becoming a DJ on the station, and um, now the chairman of the station and things like that. But um, you have to agree to all of these things. And it got me thinking about a book actually that I read some time ago. This is a book by a guy called Danny Wallace, and this particular book is called Yes Man. And with all of these things, all these decisions and changes that we make that change our life, can influence our life and alter it radically right the way throughout, you know, can change our career paths, whatever it might be, we always have to say yes to something. All those opportunities that I've been given in my life, especially in recent years when I've got involved with projects, with events like the radio station and that, I was invited in, I got got involved with the station because I had an interest in it. But then I was asked to do something. I was asked to sort of if I would donate some CDs to the station. Only a small little thing like that. But I had to say yes to that. If I had said no, I wouldn't be where I am now. With the Beatles Day, that came about because the person who organises it wanted someone to do some sort of announcing from the stage. So there some DJs. A couple of the DJs actually said no. They weren't prepared to do it. They didn't feel would feel comfortable being up in the stage in front of potentially sort of a thousand or so people uh, and doing some comparing. So they asked me and they asked somebody else and we said yes and hence the fact that that's where I am now. Now I can think of loads of different things as I've said in my life where I've actually made that decision. I've said yes and there's still the things that I'm doing now. Out of YouTube as I said before you can get lots of opportunities but you have to put yourself forward by making videos like this you can potentially be putting yourself forward. I'm um, not a, a big self-publicist or anything like that but uh, if people ask you the question and if I'm involved with something uh, and I'm interested in something then quite often I will say yes to that. It depends obviously. I've had several sort of offers that diff to put my videos onto different websites that are, are similar to YouTube. I've looked at them, I've signed up for a couple of them, I've even put the odd video on a couple of them, but they've never really been quite what I've liked. It's very flattering to be asked, it's always good, you know, and everybody, we always, as I said, we always like that sort of a, that good relationship, that sort of feedback that we get, it boosts our ego a little bit and makes us feel good, doesn't it? And uh, we all like to have our egos massaged occasionally, and I'm sure everybody would so anybody who says they don't has got to be a liar or isn't, isn't facing up to the truth. So yes, we all like compliments and it's nice to be invited. But recently I got another one, which is literally a few days ago. A local internet TV station here in the sort of the Hastings area got an email about that, about putting some of my videos, the Beatles Days videos about that, and maybe putting some of the other videos that I do up there. And even in the future doing regular videos about the local music scene and things like that. But these offers come along, but you have to say yes to get involved with them. I've found um, so many times in, in life that you see people, whether they be musicians or something like that, any sort of walk of life, even people wanting a particular career, wanting to do something with their life, and they sit back and they expect the world to beat down their door to come to you. Now that doesn't happen. You do have to put yourself out there. You do have to make a bit of an effort usually, unless you're very, very lucky. You know, and you have to make that little bit of effort so that the person actually sees you, they recognise you, they maybe see that spark there, they see that bit of talent or whatever it is, the enthusiasm, the knowledge, whatever. But if you don't put yourself out there a little bit, they're not going to come to you in the first place. Um, I've said this to my son, for example, about work. Uh, coming up in the future, he's due to leave school this year. He doesn't know what he wants to do, but I said to him, you've got to get out there and do something. If you, even if you had a passion that you wanted to do something specific, you can't expect that to sit in your bedroom and wait for someone to come to you. You've got to go to them to a large degree, and then use your talents. If you're the right man, you'll get noticed. The same with, with YouTube, we people get noticed. I know we can always say, well, why didn't they get noticed? Why was it them and not them? They were up there, so they got noticed. Maybe if the, another person had been there, they would have been noticed, and maybe they'd have got the sort of the fame or whatever you want to call it that uh, some of these YouTube celebrities have got. To, it might have been you. Maybe you have got that talent, but you've never actually put yourself out there. You've never been bothered 
and whatever. You know, I'm not saying that you're sitting there waiting for someone to come and bang and burst through your bedroom door and say, here are Andy Mooseman, here's the contract for the <laughs> for your sort of uh, celebrity and fame and fortune and all that sort of thing. As I said, we all probably like to do something a bit different with our lives and I'm no exception. As I've quite often said, I haven't got a clue what I want to do, but if I'm given an opportunity or maybe something suggested to me, at least I'm being given that opportunity, I'm being given that chance. If I didn't put my videos out on YouTube, if I didn't say yes to a few things that have come along in my life, especially over the last few years, then I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't be exploring those things and having the opportunity to get in there and to even to a certain extent influence some of the, the events and some of the things that I do get involved with. Because we all sit back sometimes and we listen to radio stations or we go to events and you think, God, this is all right, but it could be so much better. Now, if you're involved with that event, you can make a difference in that respect as well. So, uh, But you still have to say that magic word, yes. So we do have to speculate to accumulate to a certain extent. Even if we've got no great ambitions to do great things in the world, there still comes opportunities that come along and we do have to say yes. Marriage is one, relationships, all those sort of things. We do have to say those magic words, yes, every so often. And if we say no, hmm, it's all that what might have been. Of course we have to say no, say no sometimes, there's always those things that um, you're not sure of, it's not the right path for you, that's totally understood, but if it's something you want to do and it looks good and you think, well, why not say yes, you can always turn around and walk away in the end, but if you don't say yes, that might be the only chance you'll get to do that one particular thing that you want to do with your life. So uh, just think on that and that particular book. In that particular book, the guys made a decision, like a social experiment, and he said, well, I'm going to say yes to everything. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, <laughs> because it can come up with some strange situations. But I think he had a far better time than he had a bad time, because he said yes. It makes people think better of you. Yes is a far nicer word than no, isn't it? I'm sure we've heard no lots of times when we've wanted to hear yes. <laughs> anyway, thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.